Why did the Quran not say anything about atheists, Hindus, Buddhists? Or Allah did not know about them, your knowledge is by looking at this post, realized how ignorant you are, there is a clear discussion about this in the Quran, however, the Quran is described in the light of principles, did because if Allah is the name of religion, hold on and say. Then the Quran is so big, would have been a separate baiga for that Quran, every man needed land, so Allah gave the principle. Whose light, who can understand who is Hindu and who is Buddhist, who are atheists? One more thing to say, the reason is that there will be thousands more in the near future. Doctrines will be created, so it is reasonable to mention the principle, now let us see, all the people of the world are divided into two groups, one. The believer, two. An atheist, there are two types of believers, one. Muslim, associates with God, does not install. Idols do not worship, two. Non-Muslims, those who belong to God, including Hindus, Buddhists, by establishing partners with and, most worship idols, now we are taking evidence from the Quran, atheist, those who do not believe in God, their characteristics are, hey, we are already created without a creator, have been, be, our reckoning after death, will not we will merge with the soil. 1. Allah says in the verses of the Quran, how do you deny Allah, do, are you resorting to disbelief? However, you were lifeless. Then he is, gave you life, again, give death. To you again, give life then to him, will return in another verse Allah says, He is the one who created, whatever is on earth is for you, all then he concentrated, to the sky in fact, he is ready, made seven heavens. And Allah, informed about everything. 2. Allah said, they say, when we die and, shall turn into dust and bones, still what, will we be resurrected, more verses about this, Surah Safat 23 No, Surah Waqiyah 47 No, etc., non-Muslims, there are numerous groups among them, significant Hindu, Buddhist, their characteristics, a, idol worship its vanity of the Quran, description b, establishing partners with God. His loss is described in the Quran, 1, Allah Ta'ala said in Surah number 39, verse 17 of the Quran, you are only in place of Allah, you are worshipping idols and inventing lies, you do you are those instead of Allah, you worship, they are your sustenance, not the owner so sustenance to Allah. Seek him, worship him, and him, express gratitude. To him you belong, will be returned, Allah Ta'ala said in verse 73 of Surah number 22 of the Quran, O people. Describe a simile, so pay attention to it, listen, you are those instead of Allah, worship, they ever created a fly, can't, though they all do, are combined. And if the flies are from them, takes nothing away from, but they, cannot recover it from him, the supplicant and the supplicant either, both are powerless, Allah Almighty said in verse 40 of Surah number 12 of the Quran, how many of you have left Allah alone, worship the names, they are you and, your parents make sure, took Allah is no proof of them. Did not descend no one but Allah, no power to issue provisions. He commanded, given that it belongs to someone other than him, don't worship this is the simple way. But, most people don't know that, too. Allah Almighty said in Surah Nisa verse 48 of Quran, Surely Allah does not forgive him, he who associates with him. He, forgives its lesser sins, whose, for he wishes. And that guy, he established a partner with Allah, as if slandered, there is more in the Quran about this, verse 72 of Surah number 5, verse 44 of Surah number 25, verse 55 of Surah number 8, etc., hope you got the answer.